Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2013 Ford Focus passenger side fender and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And also, if you guys need this fender for your vehicle, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So here's our new fender right here, guys. Again, if you guys need this fender for your vehicle, the link is up above and also down below. You can order this at redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. So let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, let's see how we're going to do this. Well, we're going to put the bolt on top again. Oh, uh, not again, but in place first so it doesn't fall. So get your handy dandy bolt. Ah, this one got stuck. Okay. So we're going to slide this in place. Down. Close the door. I think we need the door open. So a couple things. Alright, so actually I'm gonna just test fit this. Let me see something here. That's a beautiful color match. Beautiful color match. That is a beautiful color match. All right, so one thing that I did forget was the bracket has to go back in, in place. You guys see that bracket right there? So I'm gonna take it off with a 10 millimeter right there and a 10 millimeter right there. And you know what, since the fender's already on, I'm just gonna leave it on like that. But let me do this first. Let me just put this top one on so it doesn't fall on me. Ah, all right. So I'm just putting that up there. I'm not really doing all the gaps yet. Actually, the gap looks pretty good right now, but I'm not gonna tighten it just yet. So on this old fender right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this 10 millimeter. There you go. So these these things right here. So usually you put these things on whenever the fender, the new fender's off, but I got a little excited. I'm not gonna lie, I want to see the color match and man, it looks beautiful. So I don't wanna mess around with it anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these off. Let me get a fly head. These are pretty easy to put on anyways. All you do and all you do is slide them in to place let's go ahead and do that now all right so first things first see these things go ahead and pull push this back and put it back in the holes you should hear that click you can't you can't mess it up it's a square there's nothing else to square in there You see these guys? These are your uh, guides, so you can't mess those up either. If you put them on the wrong way, you can't actually. They won't go on. So, it should go this way. Put in the bolts. Just gotta find out, you gotta figure out where or see where you put those uh, square, square little uh, plastic pieces and just tighten it up. Okay, so now we gotta go top right here. We gotta put those bolts on there. Alright, so now we gotta put the bolts on top. I'm just gonna tighten it up and then go on that side. Well, actually, I'm gonna drop the hood and then see what it looks like alignment wise. Right now, we're just test fitting. Alright, so let's drop this hood. Close it up. Okay guys. So before you tighten anything up, you gotta look at the uh, the gap 
see if it's proper. Like right here, I was concerned about that. I didn't know if the gap was that that uh, big, but I went to the other side, and sure enough, they are that big. So the gap on this uh, side is perfect. So we can go ahead and tighten that up and put the headlights on. All right, so now I'm gonna put those bolts in place over there. Uh, pop this hood open again. All right, so we're gonna put these headlights on. So this one has HIDs. All right, so let me slide this in. I'm gonna push this in a little bit more because this hole is not lining up. So, and I'll check that alignment again, see if it's fine. But I think it should be. It's just this. This thing's not. Okay. So it looks like now it's lined up. Just gonna check the other side just to make sure the gaps are the same. Ah. Yep, the gaps are the same. Kind of concern me a little bit right here because it's so so big, but same same thing on the other side. So it looks like they're just the gaps on these uh, on these fours are a little bit bigger than I'm used to, or wider. So now we go ahead and put those uh, bolts. All right, so now we gotta line this up right here. So you guide points like this one right here, and this one right here, and this one right here. So it looks good right there. Down here, so one of the issues that I see is that this fender needs to go back there. Okay, so now it's all lined up. So let me show you guys what I was talking about. See how the gap is a lot better looking now? All right. So if you guys go back here, whoop, upside down, you see that hole right there? So this fender has to go in front of it. Mine was behind it. That's why it cost me a gap issue. We're just gonna go ahead and put that bolt in there. This is a 10 millimeter. Okay, perfect, perfect. This one's good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, go ahead and put that one in there. Okay. All right, so the gap looks good. Color looks even better. All right. So let's see now. Oh, this thing you can go ahead and push in like that, and then put that push pin. Those two push pins underneath. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, fender line is back in place. Oh, side skirt's back in place. So now we gotta put the fender liner. So again, on the fender line, I can't show you guys all of it because it's just hard to see. But this part right here can go in there. Go back in place. It's up there. We can go ahead and tighten that up. See this marking right here? All you gotta do is push that fender up a little bit. Like that. There you go. That's tight. And then this thing should be right there. All right, so now open and close the door. Just make sure nothing's hitting. There you go. Opens up fine. Oh, you guys can see this one right here. You see this car right here? Got all these marks right here. You don't want that on your vehicle. 
So whenever you guys have this because of your damage to your fender, there's some touch of paint. We sell that also. The link is down below. All right, so if you guys go inside the car, something flat again, okay? Something sturdy, just go in there. Just like that. So, as you guys can see now, you guys can get to that, to that bolt right there. So you don't have to completely take off this, um, this side skirt right here, but these clips kind of fell off of the side skirt so let me just take those off all right so now the uh, fender line is back in place we're gonna go ahead and put that bumper in place and it's only held on by these push pins right here so I'm going to go ahead and line it up, bang it into place, there we go, come back here, where the spindle liner is, and feel where that hole is. Alright guys, so that's how you install a 2013 Ford Focus passenger side fender, and also it should be the same thing on the uh, driver side. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. And also, I know you guys have been asking questions about the IRR uh, paint coat that would in color match, but as you guys can see, perfect color match all the time. Uh, if you guys have any questions about color matching or anything like that, or if you guys have any, uh, you know, any vehicles that you guys want us to color match, just send us a sample or just call our customer service hotline. Thank you guys for watching. Again, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. Thank you. Hey guys, I do want to thank you again for watching our great videos. If you guys need any parts for your vehicle, the ones that you guys see in our videos, or anything else, go to RevMoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. We sell bumpers, taillights, headlights, uh, touch-up bottles, everything that you need for your vehicle, go to RevMoto.com, your pre-painted and accessories parts store. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification for more great videos like this one. Thank you.